Yo, this is T-Ray of Tribal Seeds, and you're watching Wheeler's Weekend Jams, live and direct. Wheeler's Weekend Jams, live and direct. Ladies and gentlemen, Wheeler's Weekend Jams, live and direct here, coming at you from the House of Blues in Chicago. And uh, Tribal Seeds are going to be playing a show tonight, and I'm sitting here with Mr. Uh, Tony Ray. Mr. Tony Ray, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, appreciate exactly. it, man. Yes. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, now you guys grew up in San Diego, California. Uh, before there was Tribal Seeds, um, just growing up uh, as a musician, how was the whole music scene out in San Diego? And uh, um, did you and your brother Steve grow up in like a musical family or? Um, for us, reggae was played in the household um, growing up. Um, there wasn't many musicians in our family. You know, it was just Bob Marley, Still Pulse, Peter Tosh being played in the household growing up since we were born, pretty much, you know. So I think we uh, naturally developed a love and a passion for reggae music and the message and what it stands for. And, um, you know, going to concerts growing up, or reggae concerts, there was, there is a big reggae scene in San Diego. You know, it was strong even when we were young, and it's only getting bigger with all these bands coming up. And um, going to reggae shows growing up is what really inspired us to want to get a band going and to produce that type of energy and spread that type of message. Awesome, that's great. And uh, you guys are on your smoke out tour right now. How's the, the tour been going so far? It's been good. You know, it's been a, a lot of rain on this tour. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, we're kind of joking it, um, calling it the summer soak out tour. Because uh, it's been, the rain's been following us ever since Arizona, you know, pretty much, so. Yeah. But it's been great. The bands that we're on tour with, the Expanders, Arise Roots, both from Los Angeles, um, we're fans of those bands, and it's great to share the stage with them every night, and we're really enjoying it. It's awesome. Well, I have to ask you, a couple days ago, you guys were arrested in uh, Virginia. Um, I just have to ask, uh, what was that whole situation about? What, what happened, actually? Uh, we were detained. One of us got arrested, but um, pretty much we heard loud voices. We were asleep. It was probably like three in the morning. Heard loud voices. A um, couple of the guys got a gun pointed at them. You know, getting out of their bunk, and so I looked out my bunk and saw a flashlight. Saw a cop standing there, telling everyone to wake up and get to the front of the bus. So you know, they're on the bus at that point. There's nothing we can do. Got to do what they say at that point. And uh, pretty much, they took us outside, detained us, handcuffs, zip ties, and searched the bus, did what they had to do, and gave out tickets, you know, so they got some money from us, and <laughs> I don't know if I should say they took all our veggies, but, you know, I uh, probably shouldn't put that in there, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, it, probable, probable. Probable cause. cause yeah. They said they smelled something outside the bus. It's just impossible. Mm -hmm. But you know, different different states. They have different laws regarding it. And unfortunately, where we were, it's you know, not as accepted as other places. So we got you know, tagged for it a little bit. But I mean, they're like, I don't have a negative outlook on police in general you know there, there's good and bad everywhere you know all walks of life and um, you know it's just unfortunate I feel like there's more important things to do than to wake people up while they're asleep and when they're not causing no trouble not hurting anyone you know and you know harass them like that so it was an unfortunate situation but you know I just got to keep on being positive and you know no bad feelings towards anyone though that's good so Decriminalization or legalization? What do you think? I would like to legalize it. Yeah. Um, it would put an end to a lot of, you know, nonviolent crimes and all, you know, the hassle and money spent, you know, just, you know, criminalizing people for not doing anything but enjoying themselves in their own home, you know. So I, I would like to legalize. Right on. Good answer. Well, we go go off that subject, and uh, you guys are not on a label. Um, what is it like for a band, especially nowadays? I think, oh, I mean, a lot more bands are doing it. I would say, but uh, do you guys appreciate b having like the freedom, kind of do what you want to do? Um, I mean, that you guys have been on a label before, but there must be a lot of freedom to it, and 
gives kind of you guys could be yourself with the music you know yeah we've uh, always been independent you know um we very much enjoy the freedom you know not having to answer to anyone and you know we've worked hard on the road you know like most bands do tour around the country in a van not eat good food sleep on floors at people's houses we did all that you know so to be able to earn what we have today and not have to share with anyone you know we kind of put in the work ourselves so why give it to someone else you know and so I you know I'm very happy with the situation that we have we're able to create on our own time no deadlines you know no meetings with corporate people talking about no we like this song we don't like that song let's take this lyric out and have to deal with none of that stuff so you know we enjoy this situation that's cool and uh you guys after what's what's coming next for tribal seeds after this tour uh we're currently working on the new album so we're a few songs in now and um you know we're going to hawaii in october guam and uh, hopefully we, we get to travel internationally soon. So, you know, that's the next goal for ourselves. And then we tour again in the States in January. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Awesome. Yeah. Keep it up, man. Uh, now, I'm a big movie buff, and this is kind of a random question, but I always ask every band this. But if you had to compare your band to a movie, what movie would it be and why? Oh, man. I wish I got it. Got a little heads up on that question. <laughs> it's okay, man. You're <laughs> uh, that's a tough one, man. Just I don't know, man. I don't know if you ever seen this movie. Uh, I guess we can't relate it to that. That's a tough one, dude. I wish I could have thought about that some more. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> if you don't have an answer, it's okay. It, it, it's yeah, it kind of tricks people sometimes, but. Uh, I don't know if you ever seen this movie called Rockers. It's a 70s uh, Jamaican movie where it's pretty much musicians hustling to make a living for themselves. And, um, you know, they have to play gigs that they don't necessarily want to play, but, you know, they got to survive somehow. So, you know, whether they get booked for a hotel lobby gig or, you know, a, you know a party in the ghetto, you know, they got to do what they got to do. And mm -hmm. so... I guess that kind of relates to us. Cool. <laughs> right on. Rockers it is. Uh, if there's anything you want to say to the fans out there, uh, where to find you guys um, on the internet and all that, go right ahead, man. Yeah, tribalseeds.net. Um, we have links to all of our social media stuff. and um, So you can check us out there. And, um, I think that's about it. Right on. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Ray, thanks again for doing this interview. Yeah, thank you. And uh, Wheelers Weekend Jams, live and direct. Make sure to go to www.wheelersweekendjams.com and check out our new patron page at patreon.com slash wwj. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.